It is the year 2020. Ed DeMez has recently retired and moved up to the mountains, hoping for a quiet life to enjoy his daughters and granddaughters, as well as his love for comedy. When just for the humor of it, he does a political campaign for the presidency, it ends up with unexpected results. Due to extreme voter apathy over the other leading candidates, he gets elected. Ooh, will he accept the challenge? If he does, will his dry-witted humor enable him to lead the nation? I don't even know the rest of it myself. Well, I can tell you, uh, it would be the start of World War III. <laughs> wow. Thanks yeah, for the because the other, countries, the other countries would nuke us just to get you to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> just to get me to be quiet? That's right. Let's bomb that guy. No, don't don't elect him and don't give him the the world microphone. Let's bomb that place. Put him put him out of his misery. <laughs> that's see, that's really what they might be thinking. And yet, underneath my bobbling, humorous, awkward exterior, they might lies the, the hidden strength of the ability to stun with a pun. Now they'll bomb you, man. The world hates puns. They'll bomb you. You've heard of bombing in comedy. They would bomb your uh, butt, and I'm being nice again. They would bomb your butt, Ed. Uh, you know, at, at, at your swearing in, they'd take you out, man. They'd have snipers. You know, they'd have plastic explosives. Uh, a drone with your name on it would come from North Korea. Ed, they'd take you out, brother, rather than endure your puns for four years. <laughs> <laughs> and you keep you keep giving out the puns. You will not live to see tomorrow. That's what I'm telling you. You get elected president, you keep punning. Congress will take you out. They will vote. It's the only time the Democrats and the Republicans will come into an agreement. Unanimously, well, you never, well, they will vote to take you out, man. They'll send the Navy SEALs. They say, take him out. We don't have time to impeach him. He'll get too many puns out. Take and the men out. Wow. Be very afraid. <laughs> I think you've got a great idea. I think instead of building a wall around uh, the border with Mexico, we'll just post you on the border and you just do puns all day. Oh, sure. The Mexican immigrants will flee. They'll head south. They'll say, we're not going anywhere near America. They got that crazy guy on the border doing puns. He's driving us crazy. He's he's local local gringo with puns. <laughs> if you go to Ed's show, leave all your automatic weapons home. We want Ed to stay around because the world needs more puns. It needs Ed's comedy. Ed, you're a gift to the world and the body of Christ. And we appreciate you. Thank so. you. <laughs> 